Hello, this is Giovanni Young in a short interview with Street Tora and his beautiful, lovely daughter, Sienna. How are you today, Giovanni? I'm very well, thank you. I'm good. I feel good today. The show went really well. It was fun. I enjoyed it. You guys, the spirit, you know, so of course I feel good. My little girl's here, so I'm happy with more than I want. I'm happy. Okay. So just briefly, uh, you started boxing. As we said, you're an international boxer. Mm -hmm. you, you're more or less a self-made person mm -hmm. because you've inspired yourself, gone and found out uh, where you can box. Tell us a little bit how you went from uh, the, this, this the person in the street, a child, a yeah. young boy, yeah. to finding um, a venue for you to join mm -hmm. this positive activity. It, it was a long process. It was a long process. It's like I'm, I'm pretty lucky to have stumbled across. I feel like a lot of young men, um, given my opportunity, might have done the same thing that I had done. I think a lot of young men are not given the opportunity. I think that a lot of it comes down to natural ability in that immediately through going into the boxing gym, the coaches stop and I got their attention because maybe how hard I was punching, how quick I was, how much um, aggression I had. I was lucky I got their attention. They kind of pushed for it. Through them pushing for it, I pushed for it. Then my love, it went from maybe an ego thing of loving the fact that the title next to my name is Boxer, you know, Javan Young, the boxer, I'm a fighter. I can, you know, say to people, I'm a fighter. I think it started as an ego thing, and then slowly the hard work and the dedication and the love for it grew. I began to love it, and I saw the effect it was having on young people with them seeing me, feeling inspired by me. The admiration, again, ad is it admiration linked to an ego thing? I'm not sure, but either way, it kept me going, kept me going to eventually, you know, get somewhere and you're recognized and um, you, you want to do well, you want to achieve, you want to, um, I read Muhammad Ali's book and you know, he said boxing was, for him was a vehicle. Maybe I'm too early in my career to say that because I'm supposed to maybe say boxing is my love and boxing is my only love and I love it. And, yeah, but to be fair, man, I, you know, if, if I can use my boxing as a vehicle to help people and to make changes and to be inspirational, then I'm, I'm all for it. That's just going to push me to be even better and great, right? So obviously, there's a link between how you feel yourself and mm -hmm. even you turn that energy from the energy of pride or young ego mm -hmm. because most young people are enthusiastic and identify with the activities they do and then you discover an inner quality mm -hmm. what it became a, a sense of self-respect and sort of a dignity, who you oh, are. Yeah, yes. So would you say boxing has defined uh, the person you've grown into lifestyle-wise? As you know, I've seen you have so much uh, when you came into the studio, you had your fruits and everything. So how how do you think being a sportsman has influenced well, the way you live? I'm gonna say boxing doesn't doesn't define me, but it helped me to it helped me to find me. It helped me to learn myself. Boxing is a sport where who you are eventually is gonna come out. Like boxing helped me. You know when you get pushed, it's like pressure. Any kind of pressure, adversity, struggle, pain. It's going to show your true colours and show who you are. Mm -hmm. Through boxing, I learned that I'm very, very hard working. There's no quitting. I'm not a man to quit. I will not give up. And I learned that through boxing. Boxing taught me that about myself. Um, yeah, so um, the, the best thing I think was I used to be, you know, I wasn't such a good boy growing up. I was a bit, you know, into streets and stuff. And boxing, it gave me the same feeling the adrenaline rush, the push, the adrenaline rush, the, the amazing feeling. But with the street stuff, when I had a new car or I had something nice, my grandma said to me, where did you get this after, after life to work? <laughs> okay. After life, like where my things come from. With boxing, when you're in a fight, there's no lying. You tell the truth. I won the fight. I trained hard. So do you yeah, think, you know? so do you think what you're saying is uh, the, sometimes the things that people, perf uh, per that you could pursue there as a young person that give you that sense of self-worth, maybe it's a new car, a new mm -hmm. pair of shoes, clothes, obviously you being a young man or a young woman, the opposite sex being attracted or anything to you, mm -hmm. so that energy of uh, accolade, of being recognized, mm -hmm. of being worthy, can take people wrongly to the sport, yeah, to, yeah, to, yeah, to yeah, the street, yeah, but yeah. you think if you go something like boxing, then you focus your energy. Is that what you're yeah, saying? Point. I admit that. You know, I, I, I admit that. That boxing is probably that's why boxing is so powerful in a certain kind of person and changing people. Because boxing, there's a thrill of boxing. You can tell a man, you study hard, you're going to get education, you're going to get a good job, you're going to go to university. That, there's there's no thrill in that. It's great. That is great, and you should you should study hard. You should go to university. But 
Boxing is a thrill of boxing, there's an adrenaline rush, there's a thrill of it and that is it's a positive thrill. Because boxing does take you can't box and live a bad life. You can't box, oh, drink, smoke, drink, smoke, take drugs, you know, be boxing, you have to be disciplined, you have to, you know, be organized, you have to train hard, you have to be dedicated. Okay. So boxing is probably the best vehicle to make a person who seeks thrill live a positive good life. Because you're, I'm, a, I'm a free soul, I'm a thrill seeker, I'm a bit crazy, I'm a bit whatever, but boxing is a mm. positive thrill because even on that way, I don't live a wild life because boxing doesn't allow me to. I have to be in bed by a certain time, I have to eat certain foods, I have to train very hard every day. So I think boxing is a good way to get those people, you know, to do live a good positive life. Okay, so what you're saying... I, I hear you giving a shout to education and everything, but boxing, as it is, is an institution in itself. That's what you're saying. There's a growth in it, there's a, a structure in it, there's a way of life in it. Mm -hmm. You say that you're a thrill seeker. We often see us athletes in fast cars and everything, so you get that adrenaline rush. Mm -hmm. But surely, in boxing, you're being hit. So when do you get your adrenaline rush? In the winning, or is it in seeing your opponent on the ground? What do you get? Because there are different nah, types of boxes. You've got to be careful because now yeah. you're into the inside of my mind. Yes, come on. <laughs> and now you make me expose myself. Uh, <laughs> okay, for me, I'd like to say no, I do not want to give this journey much from seeing the guy on the floor because that would make me a very spiteful person mm -hmm. and a mean person, vicious mm -hmm. person. I'm not that kind of person. Mm -hmm. so, um, In a sporty way. No, I'm joking, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, the journey, I think winning. Winning, being the best, knowing that I'm better than you. Like, mm -hmm. The guy in the room with me. Mm -hmm. so it's, Wow, that's really good. That's good. That is, you know, that's good. To keep, yeah. So anyway, the, uh, the, the winning, being the best. That's it. I'm a. But everyone, many people, you want to be the best. You want to be good. You want to be great. Mm. Admiration, adoration, um, those kind of things. You know. Natural. Anyone? Yeah, you want that. I think you get that on the street. Yes. But it's not positive. in the wrong it, it's way. It's not positive. It's bad, and you normally hurt someone. Eventually. In some way. Yes. In some way, you hurt someone usually, mm. and you're gonna risk going to prison. Cut yourself. In yes. boxing, you get those same things. Okay. It's like it's like an addiction. It's like it's like when you leave the street, you, certain feelings you're not gonna have anymore. Yes. But then feelings you can get from boxing. So while in the street, people have um, like when we're talking in the street, we're saying like walking with your peers, which is a positive thing normally. It's supposed to be a getting together of like mind, except when people get into trouble. So when you go to boxing, it doesn't look like a lone spot. Because you're alone, it's not like a team in football. Very lonely, very, very lonely sport. But you do have a team in that people that prepare you, you've got your trainers. And the bond that you grow in boxing, the bond of your team in boxing, your trainers, um, you know, people around you, your mentor, your manager, your teammates that box with you, that bond is so strong. It's an amazing bond because it's like life and death. Because in that ring, you can, in that ring, you can lose your life, you can get hurt badly. So mm. it's not a sport, it's very serious, like you, you can't get hurt. So it's a, like a male so, pack. Yeah, so it's a the, pack. Bond is, the bond is very strong, yes. but at the same time you're alone because you're the only one in that ring yes. that's going to get punched. Yeah. So you're the only one in the ring, people can say what they want, they can give advice and talk and this mm. and that, but the truth is you're the only person in that ring taking punches. Yes. So it is a lonely sport and you have to definitely come one within yourself and learn mm. yourself, learn to love yourself learn to like your own company, learn to trust in yourself, learn to believe in yourself. You're making yeah. boxing sound like a, a mental art as well yeah. as a physical art. Do you see that well, as well? Well, I think it says itself. How many, how many boxers um, seem to have mental problems, you mm -hmm. know, throughout their boxing, through not, um, through not understanding the mental side of it or through not, you know, having it secure. It's a sport where you have to dig deep and get strong. And if you're intelligent enough or smart enough to understand it, you kind of use what you need from boxing and push that into life. That you have to learn to understand yourself, listen to your body, listen to yourself, mm. not do things through pressure. Mm. So a man will tell you, hey, take a fight, you can make this money and this and it's make it sound really good. Mm -hmm. But you've got to read in between the lines, know what you can do, trust in yourself, maybe say no sometimes. So do you get an instinct when you think I can take on this fight? Do you, do you look at opponents sometimes and say, I'm not ready for that guy? The problem is, and I think with boxers, the, the problem is, as a fighter, you need, you need to kind of feel like you can beat anyone. Okay. You, and you're going to, you know, as a fighter, you need to feel, and as a fighter, you're going to believe that you can beat anybody. 
I think that's where Will Smith said, if, yeah. if you don't think you can you win, win, you yeah. always have to think you can win, that, that's even if, but that's the that's best state of mind. Comes, that's where the belief comes in. Mm. But then if you really believe that you won't, if you really believe that you can't, and you don't believe that you will, you shouldn't go into that fight. Yeah, you can't. If you should believe, but if you really believe you're not, then you, you don't Does that become like a um, lack of preparation can make somebody, so that's where preparation comes in, you have to be prepared. Yeah, preparation, and then there's, um, okay, that's like saying, um, uh, let's say, that's like saying, is, is Manchester United, is Manchester United going to beat Leicester? Mm -hmm. Sorry for any Leicester sports, but that's like saying, you can't Leicester, really know. Le Le Leicester can't beat Man United. Like, mm -hmm. Man United are just better than Leicester. So, so on some levels, there comes a point mm -hmm. where, there comes a point where, you know, common sense kind of kicks in. Yes. Obviously, you know, you love the other dog and you've got to try and mm -hmm. definitely try 100%, but there comes a point where you just know, you know, you get the timing right, you get the preparation right, and you do your best. So like they say, success breeds success. Sienna yeah, is here with us. How old is Sienna? Sienna is five next month. Mm. So generally, it's an important thing. It's the message that we try to get out about being a responsible dad, regardless mm -hmm. whatever is happening in your life, mm -hmm. men being positive influence, and you have a daughter. Mm -hmm. How do you think uh, you, you know, as a father, what do you think your role is, or how do you take it seriously? How, how do you put yourself because you have to travel a lot, uh, repel. Yeah, I think that for me, from now, it's little things she does. So people probably don't usually get it, but sometimes we'll be there and she'll do something. She'll do something. She'll do something maybe a bit, a bit wrong. Or she maybe she doesn't understand something. You know, say to me, she's only four, but I really deal with her. Like, Sienna, why did you do that? That doesn't make sense. Don't do that. Didn't you think that through? Didn't you see how that wouldn't work for you? Mm. I already I'm expecting, I try to expect more from her, to expect more That's from her. That's very good. So yes. she can think as well, I've yes. got to be smarter, I've got to be sharper, I've got to be, because I wanted to be so elite, elite, elite. Yes. Now, I want to say elite, I mean elite, and whatever she decides to do in life, I wanted to be able to do it at an elite level. Yes. You heard Beyonce saying every morning she wakes up, she tells her daughter, Blue Ivy, because there was a film about women mm -hmm. recently, and Beyonce revealed that every time she wakes up, she tells her daughter, you can be the next president of the United States. So it's about making them to aspire, all right? So we're coming to the end of this um, brief chat with you, get to know Jovan. What are your... Apart from boxing, what other sports do you enjoy? Um, I love football. Um, of course, you know, England is like a football nation. I love football. Growing up, football was the one for me. Um, mm. I like the odd one bit of sprinting, 100 metres, watching mm. now. It's always great to watch. Um, mm. Obviously, being Jamaican or being from Jamaican descent, mm. of course I'm going to love, you know, the athletics. That's, you know, for what we're good at. So, of yes. course, I love the, the, the sprinting. Um, that's also like, um, I love, I think I could watch any sport, okay? You know, snooker, or cricket, you know, not really. Snoop, t the women's tennis. <laughs> oh, yes, I was going to say, you, <laughs> you, women, you don't have to be tennis. sexist there, so you must watch yeah, some uh, female sports. No, the, women, the women's tennis, mm -hmm. only because it's oh, not about. It's is not it about, about Serena and the Venus? It's not about them being women, it's about mm -hmm. the rallies are longer. Women's yes. tennis is more the rallies back and forth. It's back getting and strong, forth. yes. It's getting so, strong. I like that. I like the women's tennis. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I like, I like a variety. Because generally, on a Sunday, what would you do to chill? Sunday family, Sunday mm -hmm. definitely, um, it's got to be the still one day a week I don't train, I train here for days for Sunday, it's the one week I don't, I don't train, so family, you know, see my daughter, you know, um, check my family, um, mm -hmm. definitely, Sunday's a family day, I think we should all try to keep Sunday a family day, if you've got to do other stuff, do other stuff, but definitely, that let that be the day to go see your nan, see your family, see your cousin, see, definitely make it a family day, take the stresses of life away, and. Don't worry about certain things on a Sunday. You're yeah, obviously a very grounded man. So the young people out there, finally, the last, in your own words, I would like to thank you for having this interview with Street Cherub. And people can go and check us out on streetcherub.com, at UK, or better still find us on YouTube, YouTube forward slash, backslash, Street Cherub. If you let us know what exactly you want to say the young, because this obviously we live in a community where there's a lot of deprivation and people don't always meet uh, that positivity. What would you say to the young boys growing out there? What can they do to find themselves? How do they go about it? Because some don't have the role model as a mother or father. How do they dig in deeper themselves? What should they keep having in their mind? What would you say? I mean, definitely have a, have a um, clear focus of what you want to be. 
and what kind of man you want to be and who you want to be and write, write stuff down, put notes up, write things down, write a state of mind, the most positive state of mind that you find throughout that week. Write it down, write it on your wall and keep it on your wall and that, that's where your head's at. And because you'll get a moment where you feel bad, you feel down, you feel like you don't want to do this anymore. But if you've written that down from when you was in a good place and you see it, you're like, no, I will not be in this bad place. That's how I feel, that's what I'm about, that's what I'm on. Definitely, you know, choose, you know, decide what kind of man you want to be. You know, n n you can change, you're young, you're growing, you're going to change the idea of what kind of man you want to be. But uh -huh. definitely know what you're about. And then, you know, just, yeah, just be positive, help others. Um, okay. So people can cut Jovan at Twitter. Yeah, Jovan Youngstar at Twitter. Yeah, Jovan Youngstar um, on Facebook as well. Jovan Youngstar on Facebook. And um, yeah, man, feel free to message me if you've got something in your mind. Maybe I'll, put, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you, reply back to you. I'll give you a know, positive message. Give you my, yeah, no, just, I'll give you my, my insight on it. Okay. You know, explain to me, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy to listen and you know, I enjoy it too, you know, to listen to people and to help where I can. Thank you very much, Jovan. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless on your journey.